Dear students, I am perfect student. I just registered at the University of Namibia. So what you need to know is a first year student at the University of Namibia. The first thing that you need to be aware of once you register for your modules. It takes 24 to 48 hours for modules to show on module after registrations. So, so long your modules are appearing on your proof of registration, they will reflect on the module learning management system. There is no need to go to the e-learning department to get your modules added face to face. So long you registered, they will reflect within that time frame. So if you changed your study mode, it takes about five working days for them to show. And then one of the most important thing you need to be aware of, most students would confuse the Moodle Learning Management System with the UNAM portal. So there are two different systems. Moodle Learning Management System, that's where you find all your courses after you register for your online classes. And then the portal, that's where you would find the modules that you registered for and your proof of registration. So you can get it from the UNAM portal. Okay, so let me say you are done with the whole process. You have waited for 24 to 48 hours. To access your module learning management system, you can go to the UNAM homepage. As you can see the link here, which is unam.edu.na. So this will take you to our UNAM website. So when you click on the University of Namibia, it takes you to this homepage, which will be the first thing that you see. Okay, so to access Moodle, you can scroll down all the way below and then you would find this section that says helpful links. So these are all the links that you will need to know as a student. There is my UNAM portal, which I just explained, where you can get your proof of registration. So you can see the modules that you registered for. And then we have Moodle Learning Management System. This is the system that you will use for your online classes and tests and other activities. Okay, so when you click on it, when you click on it, it will bring you to this page, e-learning at SILT 2022. So at this page, it will ask you to log in with your username and password. So what's your username? Your username is your student number and password is the default password that you get from computer center. If you didn't get one, you should always contact computer center to get your password. So I'll just log in with my student number. And then password. Okay, so I'm now on Moodle. I have logged in with my student number and password. So here is my name on top here. You can always edit your profile. Maybe you want to change uh, your email address or maybe your name is not uh, written correctly. So you can always change your profile here on, on the top right corner, there is profile. So you can always edit your profile. And then you can fill fill in the fields, first name, surname, and then your email address. So once you are done changing those uh, fields, you can update profile. Okay, so that's it. And then you can click on your dashboard to go back to the dashboard. Okay, so this dashboard is where information or notices that go to the whole university are usually posted. So anything that has to go to, out to everyone that's linked on Moodle, they are always displayed on the dashboard. Okay, now, how do you access your courses? Or how do you locate your courses after you have registered now? Let me say within 24 to 48 hours. Okay, your modules will show on your left side you can see there's a section written my courses so all the modules that you registered for will be displayed on your left side 
So using the proof of registration that you got from your portal, you can always verify to see if there is a missing module or if you are linked to the right study mode. So I'll click the first module here. When you click on a module, it takes you inside that module. Because when, when you are on your dashboard, you are not in any module or any course. So when you click on a specific module, it takes you inside that course. So this is the module. Name on top here. Plus you can see it's a year module, 2022. And then this is the campus code, FM, which is Commerce Dow Campus. So if it was main campus, for example, it would be FM for full-time main campus. And then for distance students, it will have a D at the end, like this course. It will have a D at the end, meaning distance. So if, if your proof of registration says full-time and then on module it says distance, then you are linked to the wrong course. So you can always contact the e-learning department or the sealed department for this to be changed. Okay, so I will just go back to the full-time course. Also, there is one thing that always confuses the students. When they see two separate codes, they will think they are linked to a wrong module or an extra module. Usually, when two courses are combined, this means that the lecturer requested for two separate courses with the same content to be combined because the lecturer is teaching the same content. So all the students of the two codes meet up on this combined code for virtual classes. So to attend your virtual classes, you would find this uh, sign with a B inside and blue color. Next to it, it's written virtual classroom, or it might be named with a different name, but wherever you see this blue icon, it means this is your cl online classes. This is where you attend your on online classes. So when you click on it, it will bring you to this page where there is a join session. So when you click on this join, it will allow you to attend your online classes. Usually when it says waiting for moderator to join, it means your lecturer is not on the course yet. So you don't have to panic. As soon as the lecturer joins, it will be active for you to join to the class. If the lecturer is on the class and you are still experiencing problems, technical issues, you can always contact the e-learning department at SILT for your assistant. This. Okay, so that's it on the virtual classroom. We also have, uh, you will notice when you go to your course, on your right side, there's a block written common spaces. So a common space, this links uh, students, let me say you are you are under the, uh, let me say you are under the faculty of uh, economics, for instance. So when you click to this link, it will take you to your common space. Okay. So when it takes you to your common space, you can always uh, add the discussion reply to posts that have been posted on the common space. So basically everything about the department is posted on the common space. So if you have any question to ask about your faculty, you can always ask it on the common spaces. People can reply there. Everyone that's linked there can have access to whatever you post on the common space. Okay, now how do you access your, your content? So, so long you are linked to your courses, now it's up to the lecturer to upload content on your courses. So you will find the course is like this, common communi course communication. There is announcements. Lecturers can post announcements on here. So you can see all the announcements posted by the lecturer. And then there is a course discussion forum, which is the second one. Here you can add a new discussion topic. If a lecturer has added or they've authorized you to add discussion topics so you can discuss with your fellow students. And then the virtual classroom that I just explained. And then we also have the course information and consultations. So here you'd find the lecturer's information. 
can also give student feedback to lecturer. Usually this uh, happens at the end of the semester, you would give feedback to the lecturer. And then units, if a lecturer uploads maybe units in unit one, you would find them in this folder. As you scroll down, and then we have a, a section for assignments. So all assignments are posted under this section. And then we have online tests. So all online tests are posted under this section. And then we have regular examination and supplemental examination. So everything has its own section. So if you are looking for something, if you are looking for notes, you should go to the right place, which are units. If you are looking for assignments, it should be under assignments, just like that. So everything that has a due date or appear under upcoming events. So if you have an activity that's upcoming, it will appear here under upcoming events. And announcements will also appear under announcements. Okay, so if there is missing contents on the course, there are no notes, you should contact your lecturer for all the relevant resources that you need for the course. Thank you.